you guys so I wanted to do a quick video tutorial to show you how I made my blanket scarf into a cape this um, look is going to be featured today and I wanted to go ahead and do a video just to show you just in case people ask me how I do it it's really really simple all you need is your blanket scarf or a large scarf or even a small blanket and a belt so the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to wrap it around and you're going to tie it at the chest and then you're going to grab your belt and we're going to fasten it in the front and you don't want to put it too tight at this point all you want to do is make sure that it's secured around your waist and you're going to adjust it at a later point so there you're going to untie it after you got the belt on and you're going to pull it up over your shoulders. And you're going to keep pulling because you want plenty of scarf in the front. I'm just raising my arms to bring it up like that. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to grab the front and you're going to stuff it into your belt. You can raise your arms up a little bit more to bring up some more scarf. Some more material. I'm going to do the other end the exact same way. I'm just going to pull it out a little bit more to make sure that your arms have enough room to move. And at this point you can go ahead and adjust the belt to where it's a little bit tighter around your waist. And it's up to you whether or not you want to leave the buckle showing. With the type of belt that I have on, it's going to stay in the front. Or, of course, you can turn it around, whichever one you prefer. But this is pretty much how it is, or how it looks when you're done. Now, um, once you look at the back, it's pretty much up to you on how you want to adjust the back. Um, you can pull some more material out at the top to make it kind of poofy. Hopefully, you can see that. If you don't really want your belt to show, which I really don't like it that way, I like it a little bit tighter, so I'll pull it down to the bottom to make it a little bit better for me. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you don't want any of your shirt showing, I would suggest, you know, suggest that you go ahead and pull out some more around the waist area. You, even, you can even grab the back of it and kind of pull it towards the front so you can cover, have that covered. But if the scarf is long enough, you're going to cover up your arms and it's going to go all the way down to your wrist, which is why I love this blanket scarf because it's really, really huge. Um, I'm not sure if Zara has any more left. Um, they may have some in, online. Um, I don't think they do. They may actually have some more in store, in the stores, but I don't think they do. But anyway, I know that Target does have a lot of these, even though they don't look, you know, they don't have this particular print, but they do have some really nice prints and they're really um, nice size. But here we go. How you make your large scarf into a cake. Hope you enjoyed it.